And with that, let's 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 talk about this because there are uh, some companies out there, like I think it's the Contour Light, that's an LED, and they claim to be just as effective as lasers for fat reduction. Uh, so let's talk about the comparison uh, on there between using an LED for fat loss and using, like, say, the Emeralds or using the Zerona for fat loss. So um, LEDs, we've been using them as placebo um, mm -hmm. devices since 1999 and probably yeah. 20 double blind randomized multi-site but could, controlled clinical trials. Yeah. Now, do the LEDs work? Um, probably 90% um, less than a laser. Right. Mm -hmm. I would love, you know, if LEDs work the same, we'd be manufacturing LEDs. Right. But when I'm getting something in a blinded controlled study through the FDA, um, I, I need to make sure it works. Right. From what I've seen with LEDs, whether it's neck, shoulder, low back, plantar fasciitis, toenail fungus, fat with red, fat with green, you know, autism, any of our, any of the research that we've done, LEDs just aren't that effective. Right. Now you could say our placebo effect is a result of the LED and that, that may be so. Yeah. But we pitched it to the FDA. We said, look, we'll use the exact same color light with the same power same as color. a placebo device. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's a key point that you said there, too, is that you said that if LEDs worked or something else worked, you would make those. And I know you told me that once before when we were discussing, uh, you know, high and low power. You said, look, we, I'm not married to a particular wavelength or power. We just look at the research and whatever's the best, that's what you're going to make. 